Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. We've got a few new things to talk about this week, so let's dive right in and see what this little amazing piece of technology is. It is a fantastic world to live in where this exists. This is the SparkFun RGB and Gesture Sense board. That's right. Not only can this be used as an ambient light detector, but it can also be used as an RGB sensor, also a proximity detector, and a gesture sense detector. So this is one of those things you can hook up, put it down, and you can like wave your hand and it can detect if it's waving this way, that way, that way. So what better way to explain this than the engineer, Sean, who's gonna give you a little demo of how this works. This is a breakout board for the Avago APDS9960. This is a sweet little chip. On one package, it gives you a color sensor, so RGB, ambient light, proximity, so as things come near it, as well as the key feature is the ability to sense gestures as you move your hand over the sensor. I've created a demo using the microview that's connected to the APDS9960 over I squared C. In this demo, as I swipe my hand over the sensor, an arrow appears on the microview showing the direction of the swipe. For example, I can swipe my hand left, right, up, and down. And the range on this is somewhere between one and about eight inches. In addition to that, I've got two other gestures on here. The first one is a near swipe, so as I bring my hand above the sensor, down to the sensor, and then move it away, that's a near swipe. If I bring my hand to the sensor very close and then move it away, that's a far swipe. Those are two others that are programmed in here, and you can add some more, but right now it has six sensors that are within the Arduino library that you can download. Next up, we've got a new product for PC Duino. This is specifically for the PC Duino version 3, and this is a 7-inch capacitive touch LCD. This is um, one of those LVDS screens that connects into the LVDS port on the PC Duino. And you can see it is pretty much like any other big LCD screen. It's pretty good size, seven inches. And there is what the back looks like. There is the display driver. And of course, we've got a nice demo to show you exactly how this works with the PC Duino. So let's take a look at what Nick's got. This is our new seven inch LCD touchscreen for the PC Duino 3. It's pretty simple to hook up. You just connect this ribbon cable here and then there are 10 jumper wires that you connect to the GPIO on the PC Duino. The reason there's all of this extra GPIO is because there's actually a touch screen and a touch controller built in, so it has capacitive touch. So once you have all of the drivers and the kernel installed, you can simply navigate your user interface using your finger. Now there are a few things that you have to keep in mind uh, to get this working with the PC Duino. First of all, there's a special release of the kernel that has the drivers for what's called LVDS, or Low Voltage Differential Signaling, built in, so that once that kernel's installed, it knows how to talk to this monitor. Then the second thing you'll have to do is you'll have to install the Git core and use Git to download the repository that has the touch drivers in it, and then load that kernel module. All of that sounds pretty scary if you're not a Linux user, but I promise it's simple, it's like 10 steps, and we have them outlined in the document section for this product on the site. Next up, we have the CircuitScribe Light Kit. The CircuitScribe is another conductive pen. This one is actually a silver conductive pen, comes with a couple of these coin cell batteries and this little board. Let me show you exactly what's inside of here. So we've got the actual pen, coin cells, nothing too different about those. And then we have this little module. This little module is kind of interesting. You've got an LED on it and then you have these like little feet and you've got these little metal nubs in the bottom. So the idea is that you would draw a circuit on a piece of paper and then kind of like press this down on the contacts and then the LED would light up. And to give you an idea of just what the pen looks like, here's a piece of paper. So it really just looks like any kind of normal ballpoint pen, you know, kind of like a glitter pen, if you will. Um, but all of this is actually conductive. These are the great products that we have for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and be sure to check those out at sparkfun.com for all the other great, amazing things that we have. We will see you again next week with even more new products.